everyone. I'm Kat. I'm Rebecca. And today we're doing an experiment with resin. We're going to be using the Let's Resin Epoxy Resin. And then we're going to be adding these little filler balls from Dollar Tree. And we're going to see what happens. I will also be using a glow-in-the-dark powder pigment in mine. And Rebecca is still deciding what she's putting in hers. I'm going to be using pigment. Resin pigment. Okay, we are going to put on our transparator meskis and gloves and mix up the resin and we'll be right back. Okay, we have our cups all mixed up. As you can see, the balls are mostly floating, but maybe as it cures, a little sink. Um, this is the glow-in-the-dark powder I chose with the rose red. So, anyway, so now we're just going to pour these in the trays. Don't know if we've made up enough, but we'll see. Oh, geez. Yep, made up enough. <laughs> that poured out way faster than I wanted. But it'll be okay. Let me just try to smooth this out a bit. Try and get all this stuff out. Mm -hmm. Okay. It already seems to be gelling up. now. I still have quite a bit left, so I'm going to pour into this little mold that I got with my resin Okay. Mm. Tap, 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 tap. I don't think any bubbles are actually going to come up. Okay, now we just leave these to cure for uh, overnight or whatever, and we will show you what they look like. Okay, excuse the lighting. It's four o'clock in the afternoon, and anyway, so the resin went down a lot, as you can see. So we're going to put a backing, a clear coat on the back um, of both of them. This one's not as noticeable because it's full of the bead things. Um, but yeah, this one also needs a little, a little backing. So we're gonna add a clear, clear coat and then demold tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Okay, so these are all cured now. There's still some bumpy areas like right here um, that we'll have to figure out. But anyway, we're going to demold and see how they look. Let's start with this one. Very interesting. There's bubbles, but it's fine. This was just a little experiment for myself. So I do wish I had covered it like she did. Like Rebecca did. Okay. Oh. 
or a few air bubbles. It still looks cool. On the bottom, it's a few bumps. I don't know if you can't really tell me. There's bumps here. Just move here. This is bumpy. But it looks pretty cool. Okay. Then we have this little part that I poured the excess into. I think this side's better because it has the bumps on it. Or the, you can see the balls better. And then we have this little gnome, which has these weird air bubbles right at the top. It looks almost like they were some of the little foam balls and then it like dissolved or something. So, let's see what this guy looks like. This has both of our extra resin in it, so it's going to have a couple of colors and I just be careful when demolding because you can get sharp edges like that. Okay, I'm going to demold this off camera and then show you. Here he is. All of the foam balls floated, so but I like where the color changes. <laughs> it looks pretty cool to me. It perfectly <laughs> filled his nose. Yeah, I think it looks pretty cute. So, anyway. And then I demolded these the other day, but these are the leftover resin that I had with the balls in it. So, the seashell. Looks pretty cool, I think. So, those are the little projects that we did. I think I will be using these again because we just bought the one pack to see what would happen, you know. But I think, like, especially if we do the trays like this. I think that would come out really cool. And then if we wanted to do the gnome, we fill it with just the foam balls at the hat or wherever we want them. And then let that part here and then add other things. But I think, yeah, <laughs> I think it looks cool. Anyway, that is all for today's video. Let us know what you think, which one of these is your favorite. Honestly, this one's my favorite, even though I made this one. I like this one with the coverage. Um, but anyway, like this video if you liked it. Comment down below with your favorite uh, project. Well, yeah, And tell us any other experiments or resin project you would like to see from us or any other type of video. And we will see you all in the next video. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.